few countries in the world operate aircraft carriers. And Brazil was one of them. For a number of years Brazil was the only country in Latin America to maintain an aircraft carrier. This country has seven 400 km coastline and significant offshore energy reserves. So no wonder why this country was committed to operating an aircraft carrier, even if barely. The Brazilian Sao Paulo was a Clemenceau-class aircraft carrier. It was originally commissioned with the French Navy in 1963 as the Foch. It served a long and successful career with the French Navy before being replaced by their new nuclear-powered Charles de Gaulle aircraft carrier. The Foch was decommissioned and sold to Brazil in 2000. The ship was refitted and recommissioned with Brazilian Navy as the Sao Paulo. It became the new flagship of the Brazilian Navy. It replaced and serviced the Minas Gerias, a former British Colossus-class aircraft carrier. The Brazilians had operated the Minas Gerais for many years and were experienced in catapult takeoffs and arrested landings. The Sao Paulo was the only aircraft carrier used by a Latin American country. The Sao Paulo could carry a mix of up to 40 aircraft and helicopters. Typical complement was 22 aircraft and 17 helicopters. The ship has two catapults and two elevators that lift the aircraft from the hangar to the flight deck. In Brazilian service air wing of the Sao Paulo aircraft carrier was rather weak and had limited offensive capabilities. Its main interceptor and attack aircraft was the A-4KU Skyhawk. In 1998 Brazilian Navy acquired 20 Xcoati A-4KUs. These aircraft could carry Sidewinder short-range air-to-air missiles and free-fall bombs. In 2015, these aircraft were repaired and upgraded. However the aging Skyhawks had only a limited anti-shipping and ground attack capability and could not match modern air superiority fighters and ground attack aircraft. Helicopters carried on board included AS.532SC Cougar, HB.350 and HB.355 Acurals, and SH-3C King. Once operating purely as a helicopter carrier, the Sao Paulo required less crew. In this role it could be operated by a crew of only 920. This figure includes both crew and aircrew. Though in order to operate aircraft a crew of 1 920 was required. Onboard armament included four 100mm gun turrets. Air defense was provided by two Crotal EDR short-range air defense systems and four dual Simbad launchers. There were also five 12.7mm heavy machine guns. Overall the acquisition of the Sao Paulo has increased the capability and effusiveness of Brazilian naval air operation. However this aircraft carrier had a bad record and numerous serviceability issues. By 2016 Brazilian Navy managed to operate the carrier for no more than three months in a row between servicing periods. Brazilian Navy struggled to operate its only aircraft carrier due to funding problems and age of the carrier, which was by then 53 years old. Since 2016 the Sao Paulo mainly served for pilot training, rather than it was a combat-capable warship. Brazil had plans to modernize the Sao Paulo to serve until the late 2030s. There were plans to upgrade power and propulsion systems of the ship. Other proposed upgrades included work on aircraft elevators, catapults and arresting gear. However it turned out that modernization would be challenging due to the carrier's age. Modernization was planned to begin in 2017. However Brazilian Navy decided not to carry on with the modernization, but acquire a new flagship instead. In 2017 the Sao Paulo was decommissioned. During the same year, in 2017, Brazil began negotiations with the United Kingdom to acquire a decommissioned British HMS Ocean amphibious assault ship. The deal with the UK was done in 2018. In 2018 the former HMS Ocean entered service with Brazilian Navy as the Atlantico and became the new flagship of Brazilian Navy. Even though the Atlantico is not an aircraft carrier and cannot operate aircraft, even ones with short takeoff and landing capability. It is amphibious assault ship, which can carry several helicopters. 
In 2021 the Sao Paulo was approved for scrapping. There were plans to scrap the carrier in Turkey. However Turkey refused carrier's entry for scrapping procedure due to environmental concerns. In 2023 a Saudi Arabian company contacted Brazilian Navy and offered $6 million of the demilitarized hull of Brazilian Sao Paulo aircraft carrier. However the offer was rejected. Brazilian Navy commented that it tried to avoid further operational, logistical, economical and environmental losses related to the Sao Paulo aircraft carrier. Hence decision was made to sink the ship. The Sao Paulo was sunk on 3 February, 2023 in Brazilian jurisdictional waters, 350 kilometers of the coast.